Hello friends, this is Carmen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a quick update on some cuttings that have been doing quite a bit of growing these last few weeks. So stay tuned for that. Some of you may remember a few weeks ago, probably a couple months now, um, I did an unboxing of some cuttings that I had received from Mountain Crest Gardens. And I wanted to show you just how much these cuttings have been growing. This is the Velt Grape cutting. And I knew that this plant grew by growing pieces like a vine but it has grown so much it's even growing some leaves as you see there and um, it gives out these little tentacles because it's really a vine so it's sending out these little tentacles to try and wrap itself around um, something to sustain itself so pretty soon here I am going to prop this guy up and give it something to hold on to. Now I had two cuttings and as you can see one is doing much better than the other. This one I recently turned the other way because I thought well maybe I planted it upside down. It's not mushy. It's not turning a different color or anything like that. I think it's just slower to grow. I did turn it over thinking I I planted it wrong and I'm gonna leave it that way for a little while and see if it does any more growing but this one is doing just really really well the other cuttings are this rickrack uh, plant here and look at the growth there and I wasn't expecting to have growth already here in early fall but we've had some rain just about every week every weekend really we've had rain and I have not watered these at all except for what they have received by the rainfall and it seems to be doing them really really well so the rickrack is starting to grow this one has roots because when I tug on it it doesn't budge so that's doing really well and then here we have the Ripsalis uh, Rohirrim. Rohirrim. I'll put that on the screen because it's a little hard to, to pronounce. If I can get this back in there. And look at all the new growth on the tips. You see the lighter growth there? That's all new growth that it has. So this is doing really well. Again, if I tug on it, no budging at all. So it's rooting very well. And I haven't lost any of the pieces. I received three pieces of this and none of them have gone bad. Now this is an Opuntia cutting that I received also from Mountain Crest Gardens. And I'll leave a link below to the unboxing of that. This is the Opuntia Snowball. and. These are the other two puntias that I received in that same unboxing. And I was not, again, expecting any growth from them this year, um, but they have settled in. I can tell, but when I move this, there's some, there's not much give. So I know that they're rooting, but this one, I moved to its own container because I saw that there was some different coloring there and I thought that it may be getting a little bit of root rot but it wasn't the roots are okay and then it's given off the shoot it's a little bit etiolated um, stretched out looking for some sun I'm gonna leave it on there uh, and I know that this is still a healthy plant and it'll give me more growth in the springtime and the last one that I wanted to show you as far as cuttings that are doing well is my totem pole cactus cutting that I've gotten at the uh, Central Arizona Cactus and Succulent Show last April. I potted it up and look at the two arms that it's growing. Isn't that great? Very healthy. 
water this about every 10 to 14 days. I did throw in some uh, leaves here from, um, I'm not even sure what succulent that's from. I just kind of threw them in there to see if they'll propagate in there and kind of fill up that area. But I wanted to share with you the growth on this totem pole cactus. This was a cutting itself, no roots on it or anything. And then in the last couple of uh, months, it shot off these two pups there. So as you can see, cuttings can do so well, even when you plant them in the summertime. So don't be afraid to plant them in the summertime if it's too hot. I'm getting ready to move some things around in my um, balcony here and getting ready to get a new um, potting bench. And I'll be sharing that with you here real soon on my one of my next videos as far as a balcony tour and showing you some of the essentials that I have here on my balcony to uh, make sure that I take care of my plants. Thanks so much friends. If you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up. If you've had luck with cuttings, these same cuttings, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to uh, hear your plant stories. Thanks so much friends. Have a blessed day.